Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Olivia is on TikTok gaslighting again. Once again, she's definitely obsessed with Gerard. She won't let it go. Y'all make sure y'all smack that likey like button for your girl, Queen Blama, and more. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Hit the like button and I'm going to stop talking so we can listen to what this gaslighting heifer has to say. It's crazy to me how females, women, women are going to my comments of my latest series and calling me a liar. Justifying what's been like justifying um, him, my ex doing what he's done to my kids and I. Making excuses for him. Really trying to this day, trying to make me seem like I'm something that I'm not. Y'all, I don't have nothing to lie about. Y'all just have to keep telling yourself. The people that have been watching me from day one. Y'all seen how fucking dirty I was done. Right in front of your eyes. And I understand a lot of y'all just don't like me. So y'all just want me to suffer. I get it. That's cool. That's, that's your own. You got to deal with that with God, sweetheart. Not me. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, but y'all got to deal with that. Okay? But y'all want to call me a liar because you just, you can't believe what he's done to me. Because y'all cheerlead for a man like that. And imagine if that was done to you. You go against, you're going against a woman who has done so dirty. And y'all seen everything. These are my, these are, look, y'all are not fans. Y'all, well, you guys are fans, but you guys are not supporters. You guys are haters. The people who drop down and talk mess and try to inform everyone that I'm lying. Girl, I ain't got nothing to lie about. Everything I said happens. People are like, well, don't forget to say this. Don't forget to say, I, I did. Did you watch the whole thing? Of course, I'm going to say my dirt. I have no problem saying that. I moved past it. I healed from it. So I have no problem. I'm not ashamed. He's the one that's ashamed of what he's done. That's why he can't admit to it. Y'all are ashamed of what he's done. That's why y'all can't admit to it. Y'all cheerlead behind a man like that. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. But I know my truth. Like I said, you cannot rewrite my truth. My truth is the truth. Everything I said happened. There's so much more that happened. And somebody asked if I'll do a QA. and a Yeah, I'll do a QA. and a We can do a live Q&A. We can break down more stuff. I told you, if that series goes viral, I will pull out paperwork. I'll show you guys everything. I have no reason to lie about anything. But, um, but yeah, y'all funny. Y'all funny. And to new people who find me from my series, don't listen to the, the women. The women are bitter females who your baby daddy ran away from you, don't have nothing to do with your kids. So you think a man who took kids from his, from his baby mama and is doing everything that he's doing to me and the kids, you think that's a good man because your man ran away from you and yours and he don't care about you and yours. Girl, honestly, you got it better than I do. At least he left you alone, girl. At least he ain't obsessed with you. At least he ain't trying to make your life a living hell. That's the. At least he doesn't have a vengeance against you. You know what I mean? Like mine does. But anyway, y'all wrong. And I live in my truth. I'm so happy that I can live in my truth. My son is trying me, okay? But anyway, I'm happy that my series is getting some views, though. Like I said... If it goes viral, which it will, we're going to go viral. Let me fix my wig. We're going to go viral. And when we do, I'm pulling out paperwork. We're doing Q&As. We're going to do it all. I want to write a book. I really want to help ladies get through this type of tragedy, get, get through abuse. You know, I've suffered a lot of narcissistic abuse. Mm. And I just want to, I want to inform people about it. And I want to talk about it. And I want to open up spaces for other women to come and talk about the abuse they've suffered behind narcissists because it is real honey the narcissistic abuse baby if you let it it will drive you insane okay but gotta be strong ladies you gotta be strong i love you ladies so much and i'll see you guys very soon my son is missing this is absolutely heartbreaking to see a young mother going through what she's going through a lot of the time Men turn bitter, and the only way they know how to get you back is through your children. So what did they do? 
they try to take or they take your children. I don't know too much about this young girl. I barely saw her channel or her page today. Um, I'm going to look more into it and maybe reach out to her. I know that her son's been missing. I think that the baby daddy took the baby and then he won't, he hasn't told her where the baby is. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm even saying. Like women go through so much and people, I mean, you would think other women would feel another woman's pain, especially if you have kids. My heart breaks for her. Literally breaks for her. There's nothing worse in the feeling. There's not that. There's not. Oh, I can't even talk. There's not a worse feeling in the world than number one having your kid taken from you, but then she cannot find her baby. That I haven't gone through, but oh my god, my heart breaks for her. My heart breaks. For my heart breaks for any mother who has to go through somebody taking their child away from them. That's the worst thing you can do for do to a woman. And I guarantee the people who do that, the people who plot on women and children like that, there is a special thing waiting for you, baby. But I'm going to look more into her story, like I said. And I'm going to reach out to her and see if I can help her. Definitely, because... No woman deserves this. No child deserves to be taken from their mother out of spite or out of hurt or out of whatever type of bitterness a man is going through. And my baby's over here asking for a lollipop. But anyway, I'm going to reach out to her. Stay strong, baby, if you see this. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong, Stay strong for you and your baby. If he's suffering this. When I hear my haters talking about me, girl, they be like... <laughs> Ain't no way she's that happy. Ain't no way she's always trying to front like she's happy and she got a good life. Really Girl, everything is in your mama's name. You lost custody of your children, multiple repossessions. You got pregnant by a hobo, and then you got pregnant by a stranger. There's no way, sis. She's miserable. She's upset. She's sad. Blah, 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 blah. Like, y'all really... Sound like a bitter ex at this point. I swear to God, like... You say everybody sounds like a bitter ex, but the fact is you sound like a 13 or a 12-year-old. You're not happy. That's why you're on here trying to convince people you are. Tell the truth. You lost custody of your children three years ago. And at that point, those were the only children you had. Then you were homeless, living on your sister's floor. Let's be real. You know why people say that? Because people are really thinking in their head, how the hell is this girl still surviving, thriving, and with a smile on her face after we tried to break her so bad? What'd they say? Smile. Oh, is that what you're thinking? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> no, and don't they say smile to keep from crying? <laughs> Ain't that what they say, Peppa? They say they smile to keep from crying. Okay, because, honey, I mean, if you say you happy, then you know why? whatever you say. Because the devil's a lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the devil's a fucking lie. The devil wasn't a lie, though. <laughs> the devil and the man above told the truth. The judge said, no. No, 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 no. Poor thing. It's, it's okay. Girl, go find your baby daddies. Plural. If he's suffering, then. 